Everyone loves a good nutmeg. Well, unless you're the one getting megged. Today, we'll show you step by step how to become master of the nutmeg. You're watching All Attack. Anticipate the gaps. The real key to becoming a nutmeg king is learning to anticipate when there's going to be a gap between the defender's legs. See, no defender can always have their legs closed. You just can't run that way. So that means that, at least some of the time, a defender is going to have a gap between their legs. They might be moving to block your path. They might be reaching in to steal the ball. Or they might just be running to catch up with you. The point is, there are always gaps there. Finding them is just a matter of experience. And spending lots of time watching defenders' legs. When you've spent years looking for megs, you eventually begin to understand how defenders move. And you'll know, almost instinctively, when there's going to be space between the defenders' legs. And then, it's just a matter of timing and accuracy. Timing. Once you understand how defenders move, the next step is timing your meg so that the ball goes through the defender at the right moment. See, the key is to start your meg a little bit early in anticipation of the defender opening their legs. For example, let's say I'm facing the defender here on the wing and I start to drag the ball down the line. Now, because I've done this quite a few times, I know that the defender is probably going to take a few steps this way to try and block me off. But what I also know is that there's probably going to be a gap between his legs right about there. So if I'm looking for the nutmeg, I can start to drag the ball down the line, then immediately push the ball through that space because I know that's where he's going to be. Of course, if the defender doesn't move quickly to block you off, then you should just go straight past them. If you want to improve your timing and anticipation of gaps, then really the only way is to practice against real people. You can start by going 1v1 versus a friend. Then, as you improve, you can start trying to pull off megs in pickup games and eventually in full competitive matches. Also, when you're playing against your friends, don't be that person that just keeps their legs closed the entire time so that they can never be megged. That just defeats the purpose. The point is to practice your megs, not to never be nutmegged. Improve your dribbling. It's going to be difficult to nutmeg anyone if you're a poor dribbler. To meg someone, you have to keep the ball under control, probably while moving. And then you have to touch the ball quickly and accurately through a small gap in the defender's legs. And not only that, but your touch has to be the right speed. Touch the ball too soft and the defender gets it. Touch it too hard and a different defender will probably get it on the other side. So you have to push the ball at the right speed. Hard enough that it will make it through the defender's legs, but soft enough that you can still get it on the other side.
to practice your nutmegs and your dribbling at the same time. Set up two cones side by side to represent a defender's legs. You can also check out our dribbling training video for some exercises. Understand the right situation. You can have great timing, great dribbling, and great nutmegging ability. But if you don't have field intelligence, then your skill is going to be mostly useless. If you want to successfully make someone and get it on the other side, then there needs to be some space behind the defender. Which means that before you go for the make, or really do anything, you need to look past the defender to see what's behind them. And if there's another defender right there, then going for the Meg is probably not the right option. Also, at the end of the day, no matter how good you are, a nutmeg is risky. So, it's probably best not to try it near your own goal. Or really, in any situation where losing the ball could immediately cost you the game. Mastering the Meg. The truth is, becoming great at nutmegs takes years of practice and experience. But once you start anticipating the gaps, and you get your timing down, Megs almost become second nature. And pretty soon, you'll find yourself megging people all over the pitch. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.